my gosh <laughs> uh, that was not my fault it just happened all of a sudden I struck Triple H on a mistake what's up guys how's it going P Jizzle here and I am playing as Shawn Michaels in case you guys have not noticed which you probably have because of that backdrop that Vince McMahon just gave it to me and another backdrop wow he's such a pro are you serious bro and what did Triple H started going up on top rope that's weird Hmm. So this is a TLC match we are playing on a custom arena, uh, Unforgiven. It was made by somebody. I don't know who. Uh, you guys can probably go on uh, Community Creations and download it. I know the first things first, because uh, you know people start posting comments saying, oh, "Hey, uh, where did you get the Unforgiven arena? Is it available for like a download or something?" No, it's not. It's just uh, you have to uh, look up. Oh by God, what a body drop on Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Speaking of uh, Vince, you guys think he will return back to, uh, you know, return back on Monday Night Raw pretty soon? I think he'll be back right after Elimination Chamber. What do you guys think? Because, I mean, they have to do something with the uh, Brock Lesnar storyline. I recently heard that Undertaker is going to wrestle regardless, you know, him not coming out this past week on Monday Night Raw. Like, he will you know eventually show up and um start cutting a promo and like you know CM Punk and Undertaker are just going to clash together and um you know start doing some stuff which I'm kind of happy about that you know but uh it seems like it doesn't feel like it's a WrestleMania season because I don't know I've heard so much stuff that I am already tired of it, it just feels like nothing is built up to his hype, you know. Of course, I mean, we know that The Rock is a champion, but still, I mean, Rock is, I mean, Rock is a champion, but he only wears the belt on his freaking shoulder. He doesn't even wrestle matches on Raw or any other show, you know. He's there to perform on pay-per-views. Um, but if you think about it for a second, that's the only thing we've seen, and I'm getting a phone call, and I am totally gonna ignore it right now. Um, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, um, yeah, that's the only, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? The Vince was like so freaking far away. I don't know how did I do that. I guess it's just called a video game. Anyways, yeah, the only thing we have seen is Brock Lesnar, The Rock being a champion, and John Cena is going to rumble. I mean, seriously, what the crap, man? Everything is just so predictable so far. Lesnar came back, but he doesn't have a match set or anything like that. I want to find out who is going to end up wrestling Lesnar. I was thinking that the you know CM Punk might end up uh, wrestling Brock Lesnar. Look at that ladder! 
weird stuff going on in this freaking uh, video. Oh my gosh. Shane is bleeding. By God, Shane is bleeding. Here, take, take this, son of a B.I., you know. Can't say that because of PG audience. Um, anyways, I know I talk too much. I had like freaking five cups of coffee. Just kidding, lol. Um, yeah. I was thinking that, let's say, you know, Taker doesn't return. Uh, CM Punk might have a choice to wrestle Brock Lesnar. The way it was looking that, you know, Paul Heyman might end up betraying Punk or even, you know, freaking um, CM Punk might end up just betraying Paul Heyman or something. Something. You guys get the point. I mean, did you guys see CM Punk's face this past Monday Night Raw? It was just like freaking crazy when he hugged uh, Paul Heyman. Big teddy bear making a twilight scene out of freaking wrestling. Okay, enough about this past week on Raw or WrestleMania. Um, you know what still gets me? Like, sometimes I go on YouTube and look up, you know, some videos and stuff. Usually Shawn Michaels in the, you know, is in the video and stuff. And uh, I will see a top comment saying, Thumbs up if you want to see Shawn Michaels return next year at WrestleMania to wrestle a match against somebody. I'm like, what the crap? Shawn Michaels retired. He's not going to end up like freaking, what's the name, Ric Flair. You know, Ric Flair has a reason. He doesn't have the money. He has to, like, freaking stay in this wrestling business somehow to stay alive and, you know, feed on his freaking children. You guys get the point. Um, oh no. They're going up on top of the ladder. Vince, get your butt down. Are you ready? Oh no. Shane, are you kidding me? Leave Hunter alone. Look at Shane's face. Oh my gosh, Shane is going to get it. Shane, come on. Mm. That's it. Hunter, go, 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 go. Go get the freaking... Hurry up. Slowpoke. Oh no, Vince is going up on top. Oh, he got it. Well, there you go. We won the match. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. Well, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like. Thumbs up. Favorite. Subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Jizzing your pants. Just kidding. Don't do that. Um. Wow. What a nice super kick. Alright. I'm done. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Here are your winners. Triple H. The heartbreaking Shawn Michaels. Degeneration. How much pain and suffering did he sustain in this grueling match? To be the champ, you'll sacrifice it all. And that's exactly what...